Routers like the Sierra Wireless Air Link RX55 have two SIM card slots and are capable of supporting a primary and secondary SIM card. By default, the SIM card in the upper slot or slot one is the primary SIM card. When the router powers up or reboots, it detects how many and which SIM cards are inserted. It connects to the cellular network using the primary SIM card, if present. If there is no SIM card in the primary SIM card slot, the router connects to the cellular network using the secondary SIM card. Log into the AirLink OS administration page and see under Hardware Interfaces, then Cellular Interfaces and Configuration. Refer to the SIM slot management table, which is where you can configure automatic SIM switching to respond to changes in the cellular network state, or you can switch SIM cards manually by selecting the active slot, as shown here. If you have multiple SIM cards installed, you can configure the circumstances in which the router automatically switches the SIM card being used for network connectivity. To configure auto SIM switching, click Edit to the right and then enter the timeout settings you want to trigger a SIM switch. The configurable timeout cases are roaming. This will prompt the SIM cards to switch if one is roaming for an X amount of minutes. Service scan timeout. After a service loss timeout and an attempted switch to the secondary SIM, the service scan timeout switches the router back to the primary SIM if no connection is made during the timeout. Similarly, if the router does not connect to the primary cellular network after startup or reboot, the service scan timeout triggers the gateway to use the secondary SIM. Service lost timeout. This will prompt the SIM cards to switch if the network's data connection is lost for an X amount of minutes. If cellular monitor is enabled, the cellular monitor ping test determines whether the end-to-end -end connection is lost. If the ping test fails, the service lost timeout begins. Last, we have secondary slot timeout. If the router has been connected to the secondary SIM for an X amount of minutes, it will switch to the primary SIM. Use this parameter if you prefer the router to use the primary SIM whenever possible. Click Update when you're done and save. You should now know how to manually switch SIM cards on your Sierra Wireless AirLink OS router, as well as how to set automatic SIM switching triggers. We hope you enjoyed this video and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.